I honestly don't think you guys are ready for today's video. I don't think I'm ready for today's video. This is probably the coolest fashion try on video I have ever done on my channel. So in today's video, we are doing a Collie try on haul. If you guys are unfamiliar with Collie or Shop Collie, as you might know them on Instagram, they are an online boutique who kind of take their inspiration from Y2K, a little bit of 90s, a little bit of like punk rock in there as well. It's Paris Hilton meets Avril Lavigne and I am personally really here for that. If you guys would like to see what we got from Shop Collie, then please keep watching. So I am going to start off with this gorgeous outfit that I've got on right now. It's a bodycon maxi style dress with this gorgeous kind of like body print going down it. I have been seeing dresses like this all over online on social media and I love them. I never thought it would be something that I would be brave enough to wear. I don't know why. I think it's just it feels a little sexy but putting it on it feels really empowering, really like making me feel really confident and it makes my body look insane. It's cinching me right in at the waist and then nice and fitting around my hips. My bum looks like it's popping. It's still got a lot of kind of like flexibility to it. So you can definitely dance in this. You would still be comfortable going out for dinner in this, walking around, sitting down, getting out of a car, all those things that you have to worry about when you're wearing like a long fitted number. But yeah, super, super comfy and cool. It's got these gorgeous kind of like asymmetric straps. They're not your typical adjustable bra strap or anything like that that you see in a lot of other fashion brands they have put these really cool kind of like toggles on that you would see in like your puffer jackets or something like that it gives a lot more flexibility in terms of having adjustable straps so if you are like bigger on the bust you can give yourself a little bit more room you don't have to then size up in order to get the dress to fit you elsewhere if that makes sense really dramatic but i think that kind of encapsulates what shop collie is about it is drama but it's like cool, refined, sexy, glamour, drama. The material feels really soft, really high quality. It's double lined as well. It's not see-through. It doesn't feel sheer, but you're still kind of getting that kind of sheer look from the print anyway. But yeah, I'm totally obsessed. I am going out for dinner tonight and it's kind of one of the pieces that I'm contemplating on wearing now that I've tried it on. So you never know, you might see this on my Instagram pretty soon. <laughs> so for outfit number two, we've got a top and a really cool little skirt. We're gonna start off with the top. It's this gorgeous halter neck moment. It's got these really kind of emphasized cut out sleeves. Around the collar, you guys can see it's more of like a black silvery material and then it kind of bleeds out into the print. and then when you get down towards the bottom where the little piece kind of comes down it's got a similar approach down here you guys could definitely wear a strapless bra with this or even one of the bras that kind of comes up and gives you a halter neck you can obviously make it work for you if you do need to wear a bra i've not got anything on and i feel fine it feels really thick and nice and supportive i think a lot of the outfits are actually this kind of material and i don't really know how to explain what it is but it almost gives me the kind of leotard-esque feel if anybody knows what i mean if you grew up dancing you know this material a little bit softer and a little bit thinner than that but that is probably the closest thing i can describe it as i really like the kind of like black lining around the edges as well you guys know i'm a sucker for detail so something like that just makes it feel really finished really polished and really well thought out i think this would also look really cute with just even like a pair of leggings you could throw over like an oversized jumper or blazer really easy and casual but it does look like you've put in that little bit more effort and a little bit more style than like a boring kind of tank top Moving on to the skirt, we've got this gorgeous cargo mini style skirt. The material itself is really nice and light. It's got this gorgeous kind of ruching detail on either side that is adjustable, again, with the little toggles that we saw on the previous outfit. It kind of ruches in around the waistband. It's elasticated. I think I could have probably done with going up one size in the skirt. I can get it on. It is really comfortable still, but it is fitting quite short just because of my bum. I didn't realize that the waistband would be as adjustable as it is it's got an additional toggle on top of it being elasticated so you can really get like a really cinched in waist and so i could have probably sized up to give myself a little bit more room on my hips and also give myself a little bit more length over my bum i do also like the idea of wearing this a little bit more scrunched down more on the hip then i can ruch it up a little bit and still retain that length i can see the outfits coming together in my head and i know i'm gonna wear it over the summer love both of these pieces i will be wearing them 
a lot. So moving on to outfit number three, I would say that this piece is probably the most Collie in terms of branding. It's giving very much Y2K ballet core. You guys can see it's super bodycon, super fitted around the top. It's got like a kind of a bandeau styled neckline. It's really comfortable on, even though it's like super, super figure hugging that you guys can literally see my rib cage. It's still really like roomy. There's still loads of stretch to it. I'd say it's almost it's kind of like a steel blue gray it's got these gorgeous ruffles that kind of fall down giving this gorgeous kind of like waterfall effect on the bottom the front it is a little bit more again like i said of this v and it kind of gives you this more hourglass figure makes your legs look really really nice and long and elongated and super glamorous and super sexy so moving on to our next outfit we've got this gorgeous satin mini dress it's got this gorgeous kind of like bandeau style top with this little cut out but obviously it is all connected as you guys can see it gives you this kind of illusion of it being a crop top and a skirt this is holding my boobs in like nobody's business it feels super super supportive up top you guys can see from the back it is a little bit more of like a corset detail and you do actually lace it up it's got this gorgeous kind of ruched detail on the front this is actually adjustable so you can kind of pull it in yourself and you can let it out if you need a little bit more coverage there. So the straps are a little bit thicker. Again, it's that black satin material and they are not adjustable, these ones. So that is just something to note that if you have got wider shoulders like me or a bigger bust, consider like potentially sizing up in this dress. It still feels really comfortable and I think I did pick the right size, but that is something that I was a little bit conscious of when I was putting the outfit on that I did feel a little bit tight and then once I'd actually like adjusted it in and got myself into the dress it was fitting perfect so this one just needs a little bit more patience there is a little bit of room I'm not feeling too restricted I feel like if I got a blow after dinner it would still feel really nice on and it wouldn't make me feel like I'm really self-conscious I really like the length of this even though it's a mini skirt it doesn't feel super super short the floaty element to it it's kind of like an a-line skirt and it gives that little bit more movement at the bottom although this is probably the most different out of all of the outfits i've got in terms of style it still feels very much like her colleague piece i think it's quite versatile in the way that you can style it because of the material it does give it a little bit more of like a glam approach so this outfit is a little bit different for me but i'm kind of here for it let me know in the comments below what you guys kind of think the skirt which we'll get to it in a second is something that i have been eyeing up a lot on social media it's all over pinterest i've been seeing really cute summer outfits and i think it's something that i would wear a lot for things like work so it's this gorgeous kind of ruched maxi skirt it's very similar to the first skirt we tried on in terms of it being like a cargo style the fastens and straps again are that kind of like utility look with the toggles and the elasticated string so you can cinch it really tight around the waist and really create like a really nice cinched in waist up here it's got like a ruching detail running all the way through down the front of the skirt and then also on each side of the skirt as well the probably the one thing i would say about this is i wish it had toggles on either side of the skirt at the bottom because it is a little bit long for me i'm quite like average height but i've got a long upper body and quite short legs i think i would have to try it on with shoes i think if you had a pair of dot martens on with it or something like that which would help to kind of proportion the bottom i would feel a little bit differently about it so then moving back up to the top again it's like a halter neck kind of tank top approach but this time it is just like a normal kind of sleeveless tank again the material is that kind of almost leotard-esque material it's really slinky really soft and the back is just plain it's that gorgeous champagne satin material on the back i am not somebody that is naturally drawn to tank tops in terms of picking styles of tops because of my shoulders being a little bit broad i obviously train my shoulders and upper body in the gym and so sometimes i feel like tank tops kind of highlight that a little bit make me feel a little bit like manly but i do actually quite like the way that this one is cutting this one is a gorgeous kind of champagne color with this graphic black print on it it is actually stretched like this isn't my ginormous boobs this is the style of the print and it reads hot girl club a little nod to like girl power and if you're in the mood for a hot girl summer this month this is a staple that you need in your wardrobe so we are on to our second to last outfit 
you guys can see it's this gorgeous cord number so the actual top itself is very distressed there is a little bit of a peekaboo moment going on down there i would recommend probably wearing nipple covers with this if you want to kind of just achieve the full like distressed kind of feel or you could wear a cute little bralette underneath you've got this gorgeous kind of thick turtleneck neckline up here you could probably fold this down or you could wear it a little bit more ruched up depending on how you feel it's this gorgeous kind of silvery blue color it feels really really soft to the touch the top finishes just below the boob it does give it a little bit of like an under boob moment if you do have a larger bust just make sure you check your size guide you might potentially want to size up in this if you want to give yourself a little bit more coverage and a little bit more kind of like room around your neck because obviously if it's quite tight on your boobs it's going to feel a little bit more restricted up top and then this top is actually hooded as well i'm not really one that tends to look good in a hood it's kind of giving like star wars meets jennifer lopez something that's a little bit different for me but i'm intrigued to see whether i will wear it obviously with the hood up or whether i would just wear it kind of like down and then when it comes to the skirt it isn't feeling like super super short on my bum it does finish quite short but i still feel quite comfortable to say it's like see-through and distressed for a long time i stayed stayed away from skirts because they just used to fit really tight i couldn't wear them on a night out i didn't think it was enjoyable i couldn't dance in it whereas something like this is definitely roomy it's got stretch it feels comfortable it feels enjoyable to wear i think it's really fun and like just a little bit different to anything i've seen out there currently and i think it's a play on something a little bit more edgy and alternative but i think it's something that is also very wearable and even though it's like distressed and quite sheer, I do see myself wearing it in different occasions and it doesn't feel like something that's like a one-off. So moving on to our last and final outfit from Collie, I think this is probably my favorite. Don't hold me to it because some of the other dresses and stuff we've tried on, I am absolutely obsessed with, but this is stunning. This to me, screams like y2k it's kind of giving me a little bit like latina vibes you can see that kind of influence in the style but i am obsessed it's this gorgeous plunge neck black slinky mini dress it's got this gorgeous kind of really really deep plunge here the straps themselves are adjustable so in terms of like how plungy you want to go and also how short you want the dress to be you can adjust that in terms of how high you're tying it up i've tied it quite tight just to give me a little bit more of the lift down here but obviously you guys can play around with it make sure it fits you really nicely if you have got a bit more of a bust you could probably give yourself a little bit more room and it would still feel really nice and supportive on as you guys saw you've got the Kind of like spaghetti style straps, very similar to like your bikini or something like that. One thing that I've noticed and love from all the pieces we've tried on in today's video is that the straps are really long. If they were short, it wouldn't add anything to the design, whereas because they are really oversized, it adds like that extra element of drama to the fit. So the back is completely open. I'd say it goes down to like the middle of my back, but I think that's enough because obviously you've got a lot going on at the front. You want a little bit more support around your waist. How flattering is this? Like it literally creates the illusion of this tiny, tiny little waist. It's quite hard to see it on camera with it being black, but it does actually kind of like root in and gather at the front. And then it all comes together with this gorgeous, diamante buckle detail it's got gorgeous individual diamantes and it just feels really robust so when it comes to the skirt you guys can see it's a bodycon mini skirt you've got this gorgeous kind of like ruffle detail element so it's like two pieces of ruffly fabric it creates this gorgeous ruffle running down your leg elongates your leg and i think it just kind of adds to the outfit i think without the ruffle detail the dress would feel like it's missing something that really helps it again add that drama gives it that colleague kind of like punch and punk that you need because of the buckle detail and the way that the material gathers it does not really like come together and cinch in your waist you're not going to be worried about bloating or anything like that because you can't see it in this dress everybody's looking elsewhere anyway i can see myself wearing this out to the club out with my friends going for drinks and dinner getting like turn up it's definitely saying like i'm here i've arrived super confident super sexy really glam and yeah, I completely love it. So that is all the pieces from Collie Tried On. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what we've got. I hope it's given you a little bit more insight into their brand. As always, I am super obsessed and impressed 
I think these guys are going to be one of my new favourites moving forward. It's definitely made me rethink my personal style and I'm really excited about how to integrate all of these pieces into my wardrobe. Every single one of these pieces that I've put on has made me feel super confident, super glamorous, super sexy. I'll pop the links for everything we've tried on in today's video down below. So I also have a discount code for you guys. If you use the code Natalie, that will get you 15% off. Definitely give them a go and let me know what you guys think in the comment box below because I am super excited to see if you guys are as obsessed as I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. I will see you guys very shortly on my next video.